السلام عليكم الحمد لله لا أبغي به بدلا حمدا يبلغه من رضوانه الأمل ثم الصلاة على خير الورى وعلى ساداتنا آله وصحبه الفضل أمين We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an abundant praise a place that would only be able to praise him with and we beseech him to send his peace and blessings upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what, what can be said after mashallah uh, really just amazing words um, and, and Sheikh Abdul Hakim Quick actually knew the person who gave me shahada so it was amazing to meet him and then know that he met or knew the person Sheikh Abdul Rahman Basir who g gave me shahada in 1992 alhamdulillah the Prophet sallallahu stands in front of us brothers and sisters uh, closer to us than ourselves and as we leave today, I just want to remind us of that relationship that we have with him. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a beautiful relationship, but it's also a relationship that brings responsibility and it nurtures a sense of urgency in the hearts of people. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a sound hadith, he said that none of you will complete your faith until you love me more than your fathers, than your children, in all of humanity. Imam Al-Qadi Iyad, Rahimahullah, he said something remarkable. He said that love is of three kinds. He said number one is the love of awe, the love of ta'zim. So he said this is the love that you have for your parents. He said next is the love of shafaqa and rahmah, the love of mercy. And this is the love that you have for your children. The third type of love that he mentioned is the love out of ihsan, out of being good to people and things around you. And he said, this is the love that you have for humanity in general. He said the Prophet equated the love to him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with all three types of this, these loves that were mentioned. The love of awe, as he said, you will not completely believe until you love me more than your fathers. The love of mercy, more than your children and the love of Ihsan, the love of humanity. So he said, Rahimahullah, that all three of these equate to the love of Al-Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The reason that I'm saying that is that we live in a, a culture now where we have access to celebrities. You know, one day I was sitting somewhere, there were some Muslim girls and they were so happy to be on the Twitter of Kim Kardashian. I, I did not know who Kim Kardashian was. Unfortunately, I Googled her. But that's another story. <laughs> but the point is that this is from the khutawat of shaitan. Because we, we gain a sense of like closeness to these people, man. If you were to tweet them, they wouldn't even give you the time of day. But shaitan creates a feeling of closeness because we start to learn about their sifat. And if we're brothers, we're learning about the sifat of, you know, Akon or something. And then that turns into love. And that love turns into imitating people and taking their sunnah. As Imam Hamza mentioned yesterday, people are going to be called unas bi imamihim, with their imams. How would you like your imam to be Kim Kardashian? In front of Allah? Her Botox is going to melt. And how would you like your, and I'm not making fun of her, but al haqqu haqqu an yuqaat. And, and how many of us would want to have, you know, someone like 50 Cent who's not even worth a food stamp as our Imam when we meet Allah? But how many of us would want to have as our Imam Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam? And in a sound hadith, which our teacher related to us from his teacher back to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that one of the angels came to the messenger of Allah and he said, I beseeched Allah to be able to visit you. And it wasn't Jibreel. I ask your Lord to let me visit you. These are the angels. And we have the seerah on our shelves collecting dust. And he said, I ask Allah to allow me to visit you 
And he gave me permission. And I want to tell you, ma akramu ala Allahi mink. And he said, I've come to tell you that there is no one more honorable to Allah than you. So today as you leave, I want you to, this revival all goes back to the Prophet, peace be upon him. And that's why one scholar, subhanAllah, he said, all khair, that's why the Prophet is Sayyid al-Bashr. All khair that Muslims have done and will do goes back to the, 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 the storehouse of the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he meets Allah. As I finish now, I want to mention, and this, hadith, this narration is really a beautiful narration, and we should, we should really teach it to our kids. Our children should memorize this. And that's the, the description of Ali of the Prophet. And when you read the description of Ali radiallahu anhu of the Prophet, it's a description of love. He describes the hair on his chest. He describes the eyelashes of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And some of us might think that's impossible, but we know what type of blush our favorite movie star is using. We know what type of foundation, for some reason we think foundation is something we wash off our face every night. Your foundation is your heart. But there's two things he said that I'll share with you that form a responsibility. He said, anyone who saw the Prophet Fajaatan who had never seen him before and suddenly saw him, he would stand in awe of the Prophet, no matter who it was. And the ulama said, they stood in awe of the Prophet because the Prophet was in awe of Allah. Secondly, he said, anyone who got to know him just momentarily would love him. Now as young Muslims, I'm seeing, mashaAllah, amazing improvement. I left for seven years. I lived in the land of Koshri for seven years. I'm back and the, the development and the progress of you young brothers and sisters is unbelievable, mashallah. But I want to remind you, every one of you as you leave now, that you have a responsibility to live the way that the messenger taught you. And that's the best advice I can give myself and you, is to live like Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so that when people meet you, they will be in awe of Allah and they will love you and what they are loving is the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.